OK, sometimes we have to deal with expressions where we've got uh, whole numbers uh, added to um, thirds. Um, here we've got two expressions like that um, multiplied together, and we can multiply out in the normal way. So I'm going to use a grid. I'm going to have 3 uh, and root 2 from the first bracket, and 7 and minus 3 root 2 from the second bracket. Well, um, th 7 times 3 is 21. 7 times root 2, all I can do with that is write it to 7 times root 2. Um, 3 times minus 3 root 2, well, 3 times minus 3 is uh, minus 9, and I've got root 2 times that, so it's minus 9 root 2. Now, this one here, we might prefer just to write down, uh, first of all, an unsimplified expression. So I've got minus 3 times root 2 times root 2, so minus 3 root 2 times root 2. Uh, but I know that root 2 multiplied by itself, this bit here, um, equals uh, root 2 times itself, its job is to equal 2. So this is minus 3 times 2, so this is minus 6 down here. Now, if you're confident, you can write the minus 6 straight in, but it's absolutely fine to write the unsimplified expression in to begin with. OK, so now we're ready to actually write down the answer. OK, the answer is going to come in two parts, because you'll see that because... Um, uh, the root 2 times root 2 simplified, I've only got two kinds of expression. I've got um, whole numbers and I've got multiples of root 2. So in terms of the whole numbers, 26 minus 6, that's 15. And in terms of the root 2s, I've got plus 7 root 2, but minus 9 root 2, they total these two to minus 2 root 2. So that's how to multiply out brackets with thirds. One more example, because there's an interesting pattern. Um, when we've got this kind of thing going on. OK, so here we've got two identical brackets, both with third expressions, um, but with a different sign in the middle. So we'll multiply the brackets with the grid. First bracket, 2, 3 root 2. Sorry, 3 root 3, I should say. Other bracket, 2 and minus 3 root 3. Uh, 2 times 2 is easy, that's 4. 2 times 3 root 3, well, 2 times 3 is 6, so that's 6 times root 3. And this is the same except with a minus sign, so this is minus 6 root 3. And then to finish it off, minus 3 root 3 times 3 root 3. Well, I can in my head do that minus 3 times 3 is minus 9. But then with the root 3s, I'll just write root 3 root 3. But the next step is to look at the root 3 times root 3 and think, well, its job is to equal square root times itself, its job is to equal 3, the number it's the square root of. So this, this term down here is actually minus 9 times 3, which is minus 27. And then when I come to simplify, OK, I've got two number terms, so 4 and minus 27. They multiply to give um, minus 23. But these two terms uh, are identical, but with a sign swap. So um, they cancel each other out, and so the answer just is minus 23. So when I have a, a third expression multiplied by a copy of itself, but with a sign swap in the middle, I actually get uh, an answer that doesn't involve thirds at all, a whole number answer. And that can sometimes be a useful thing to know.